Hello, everybody. This is Tired for more Let's Play Dead Rising 2. Let's, uh, try and get some shit to happen around here, shall we? I need to not get lost. That would be unbelievably and infinitely helpful. We're gonna grab this because I'm gonna need it. Katie was gonna get her Zombrex because she's gonna need that. Hello, Vicky. Fuck the plant, it's just a plant. It's not a whole ecosystem, it's a fucking plant. There you go, Katie. Last Zombrex dose. Do I have that one? The haymaker, that is? Dad, you didn't let me get to the save point. I'm gonna have to restart. Sorry, kiddo. Time for your medicine. Wait. No, there's one more fucking Chuck, zombie. The rescue's God coming it. soon. Sullivan said they'll save anyone at the bunker at first light. There still might be people out there that we can help. If you can get them back here in time. It never ends. It never stops. It really doesn't. It really fucking doesn't. But I don't think there's any more survivors. I think there's just psychopaths. We don't really care about them. I've got two hours. Two hours to do. I'm just gonna go to continue playing. Play two hours to do everything I've gotta do. Which involves a plant, mostly. But not just. There's more stuff to do, too. Alright. I need to listen to some Little Shop of Horrors after this. Total eclipse of the sun. I'm, I, I don't think I'm even going to attempt Most Dangerous Trick. It's really not worth the time and effort it's going to take to do. No. There's actually another thing. Actually, there are a couple things right over. Let's say one's right over here. Yep, this is the thing I can give Katie. Bringing my daughter this ball, and you can't stop me.
on a later playthrough, I really will get all of the stuff that I need for Katie. I'm just going to bring her... I, I'm going to try and get everything on the list in another playthrough. And just fill that fucking room with stuff for Katie. If I had more time, I'd do most of them. There's one that I can't do because I locked myself out of it by not fighting that psychopath early on. Here, have a beach ball, Katie. You can put this with the other weird crap I gave you. But yeah, there's like, a, I have the father of the month thing. I think there's like a father of the year thing if you give Katie everything. Plus a massive PP bonus. God, it is still coming down out there. Oh my god. And I don't think I desked the la last uh, video either. I'll have to do it now. Give me uh, just a second here. Because this is kind of important. That is the wrong folder. This is the not wrong folder. Sorry about this. Not that these videos have been terribly well desked, they're pretty short and to the point. Like, oh, I just saved a bunch more survivors up, I fought a psychopath. But not a lot happens. This game is keeping me on such a short fucking leash. hotel are they at or which casino rather they're at one of them is it the Americana can't tell you know what fuck it they're at the Atlantica I'll go across the street and I'll fight them I shouldn't but I'm gonna Breath is so fucking hard. I'm gonna hate myself when I do this thing. save real quick, and then we're going to try this. I don't think I've got the time for it. I really fucking don't. I'm going to be shocked if I have the time to do this. Do this and get the plant at the same time. But these fulfillment bonuses are generally worth the reward. I mean, they're usually minor things. I'm gonna need one. I'm gonna need two Zombrex more. One more for Katie, one more for the guy, and one for the uh, secret ending. You know what? No, they're just gonna. I don't have time. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. We're gonna give it a shot. I've already saved. We may as well try it. Of course, it's also the fact that I probably can't even beat them at all. But we'll see. As I recall, it's like directly across the street. But here's the thing, I have to do this, I have to grab the damn fern, and I have to get back quick. Because if I'm outside the safe house, it's pretty much game over when the military arrives. It will not end well for me at all. The plus side is, once the military arrives, it's pretty much nothing but story mode. 
which gives me some time to just play. Alright, I have a very short window to pull this off in, but I, I might be able to. Thanks for that, asshole. Okay, drink my creamer real quick. Shouldn't, but I'm gonna. We're gonna try and grab like a vodka or something to tide us over. I'd be shocked if I pull this off. But then again, I've been saying that all LP, and it's been very few times that I haven't been able to pull it off. And usually it's just a quick reload to fix that. Also, I'm very pleased to see it's not just my TV or whatever that's causing those ripple lines. They just happen. Okay, I'm gonna need, like, a vodka, please. Can Kyrex have a, a vodka, maybe? A beer will do- that's not a beer, either. This is beer. Okay. See, I kind of want to do this fight just because this one guy looks just like Will Ferrell, and I don't like Will Ferrell at all. Not enough to kill him, mind you, but it is, it is kind of cathartic just beating the shit out of him. Damn it! Roger, you idiot! We need to get on the ball if I'm ever going to get out of this hole and into the spotlight as I deserve. Don't you see? This is finally my chance. I mean, our that chance. guy Roger looks so Go fucking out of it. Get ready for the next trick. Now I will give him this. Uh, I don't think this is so much a psychopath thing the as it is they're just incompetent. The they're still crazy and they're still gonna die, but. You really shouldn't attempt this trick until you know what you're fucking doing, dude. I love that. Just that's not magic. She's dead. That's very magic. I took a living woman and made her not. Critic, aren't they? You think this is easy? I suppose you know how to saw a woman in half, right, Big Shot? Not and have her survive, but I have been doing it all LP. Okay. Who asked you to come in here while we were practicing? You just want to tear us down, like the others, don't you? Well, we just so happen to have a very special trick just for you. It's a he reminds me of Teller. He doesn't have the face for it, but he reminds me of Teller. So it's Will Ferrell and Teller. Is to die for. <laughs> now again, this is a dual boss, and unlike the last one, I gotta fight them both. But uh, this is gonna be... Pain in the ass. I'm gonna try and take down one of them before the other. Jesus, these things get hard. Maybe this isn't gonna be as bad as I thought it was. Tried to dodge roll there. Excuse me, must run away. I need to beer here. Ooh, money. Money and beer. Please let me beer. Please let me fucking beer. Need my beer. Can a man drink a beer here? Excuse me while I run into this room. Please close, please close. God damn it, please close. 
also cocktail. Cheater. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where'd you go? This kind of matters. Where did you go? One down. And that's me down. Okay. Really need a second one. That actually didn't go as badly as it fucking could have. I am gonna need to drop a weapon though. I'm gonna go out, get a couple creamers, and cream some fucking magicians. Those fucking blades though. Oh my god. So we're going to drop the bat and grab some creamers, lots of creamers, and we're going to whoop some magician ass, some bad magician ass, because they are bad magicians. Drink the creamer. coffee creamer, and a defiler, and some ass whoopery. I think I just might pull this off. See, I didn't realize that friggin' Roger had so little health, or that these things did so much damage. Then again, I've seen what they do to survivors, so I really shouldn't be that shocked. A couple misses onto the survivors with these things, and it just about drops them. But I need to be quick. I need to finish them off quickly. And Roger is the easier of the two. It's fucking Will Ferrell will stunlock his ass if I get him too close. Hello, John boys. I'm gonna Wolverine my way through here. I do love that it makes a clanking noise when I dodge roll, though. <sighs> Are we almost done? Like I said, the good news is pretty soon I will just have the run of the place. The bad news is it's going to be full of fucking rage zombies to the max. So, on the one hand, it'll be a good thing. On the other hand, not so good. But hey, at least it's something, right? Right? Yeah. It'd help if I hadn't wasted all that time with freaking Katie's beach ball. Jesus, fuckers. God damn rednecks, this is hard enough without your interference. That's all you're doing is interfering. Good for nothing fucking hillbillies. And again, there are such a thing as good rednecks, good hillbillies, good country folk. Just not these ones, you know? No, I've known good examples of rednecks, hillbillies, country folk, and this just ain't it. Yep, just ate a fish. Fuck you, ate a fish. I have very little time to do this. The good news is, there is enough time that I can do this, win or lose, and then get back in time to actually accomplish something. You know, I can get back in there, I can do what I gotta do. We're gonna run and let him stunlock Teller over here. Charges when he does that, okay. Come on, like a damn for your ass. Um, 
please, please drink your creamer. Drink your creamer and live. Drink your other creamer and also live. Nice oh, you sure about that? Because I think it just did. Alright, where's your cowardly little friend? Shit, come here. Running is my fucking trick. Leave me as much as you fucking like, but uh... Did you run out of time on my ass. That's what I was gonna do it. He's gonna run out the fucking clock on me. Come here, you shit. Fuck you. <laughs> yes. Fucking yes. Thought you could run out the clock on me, didn't you? Judge, jury, and executioner. I have the orange convict outfit for killing all those psychopaths. See, this is like, oh, gay lovers. No. He hates Will Ferrell as much as I do. More even, because this. I don't blame you in the slightest for it. Bubble card? Rocket launcher. Okay, nice. That's a thing. Yeah. Um now of course I can get magician swords from doing that if I so am, if I am so inclined. I am. And I never got to show this off, because I built this already. I never quite got to show it off, so here we go. Little on the random guy. I'll make it. There's a shortcut. If I set it off too close to me, I might just have it saved. Necessarily need that, so we're just gonna run. We're gonna run a lot, really fast. Because as soon as I grab that thing, I can duck into the what's it fuck, and we can uh, escape back to the safe house and be safe, ish. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. I know, I know. Basically, it's warning me, hey, Chuck, get back and get rescued, dude. And I'm like, I know, dude. <coughs> oh, there's Chris's fine foods. A place very near and dear to my heart, as it kept me the fuck alive. It's, uh, real close. Close, getting close, getting close. Oh yeah, here we go. I am made of awesome. Gimme. I can store it. Cool.
Now I just duck into the changing room. And shortcut back to safety. And all will be well. Just like the blue lanterns say. This isn't it. Close though. Oh shit, didn't even see him. Okay, I really... There it is. Brand new year. But say, I really need to find this place, like, right fucking now. Please. Don't worry. I'm safe. And if this isn't it, it's not gonna be it, you know? I'm getting to the safe house. I've got time. Not a lot of time, but I've got time. Plenty of time, in fact. Considering how far away I am. Now, if I didn't have the shortcut, I'd have been boned. There's no way I would have gotten here in time. But I do have that shortcut, and that's important to note. Soft cream. Slurp. Okay, time to run. Time to run the fuck away. And I ran. I ran the fuck away. Safe house. But not safe yet. No, no. Still things to do. Yes. Things. Things to be done. <laughs> I think I need to be in the safe house room for this to be a thing. Yup. There we go. <sighs> That's a thing. Aren't you supposed to be watching TK? Didn't want to miss the rescue. Don't worry, he's out cold. Hey, looks like they're coming over the bridge. Come on, load up. We're at the first checkpoint. Raise the bridge. Um, the Yes, sir. Sir, you yes, sir. You know the drill. First we mop up, then we grab the survivors. Yeah, good luck with that. I've been at this all day. For three or four days. I haven't even begun to thin the numbers. All right. Whoa, whoa. Hold your fire. First kill belongs to daddy, sweethearts. See, I kind of like this guy. It's just a shame that things don't work out for him. Nice shot, sir. Have at it, boys. Thank you. 
Not exactly the best military protocol to toss a loaded weapon like that, but... See, I would say these guys are professionals, and they probably are, except when fighting zombies, you don't shoot for the center mass, you shoot for the fucking head. Now, I can understand if these were untrained soldiers going in here and just, oh, we gotta kill zombies. No, we're trained to shoot the center mass. Like they're doing. Except these guys were handpicked to kill fucking zombies. This is what they were trained for. This is a special mission to rescue survivors from zombies, so you think they'd know what they were doing. The ammo is all you guys are doing. Not that I'm much better, but then again, I've never made any bones about how bad my aim is. Now this is supposedly when the zombies start getting real fun. Come on! Drop you son of a bitch! Come on! Oh my face! Oh god, it burns! It burns! Oh! It's still man, I'll shoot it off! Yeah, let's 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 not pay attention in a zombie outbreak. That's okay. Zombies apparently don't need their eyes. Matter of fact, in a lot of media, zombies operate more on sound than anything. High School of the Dead comes to mind where they're completely unable to sing. As long as you're quiet, you sing right past them. As I hinted several times in the LP, this is the part where, uh, where I'm gonna need that extra Zombrex. There is one more person who gets infected, but, uh, and while I will need Zombrex for them, I'm not gonna spoil who it is. So if you know, that's wonderful. Just don't spoil it in the comments for other people. Please. Not that I have the liveliest comment section, but you guys do talk. I do have some nice conversations with my, my viewers and my subscribers. And I adore you guys for talking to me, but... You know, gotta, gotta leave something for the people who are new to this. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And I do want to reiterate that even though this is not blind for me in terms of story, this is blind in terms of gameplay. I never got beyond uh, Ticket to Ride in my own file. Regular zombies can't. But those, what happened to them? Look, it's Rebecca. What is she thinking? She's a reporter. She's thinking like a reporter. I've got to go get her. The uh, the novelization for the first American Godzilla book. That was the military rescue. Uh, mentions the, the scene where Animal, the cameraman, goes after Godzilla, or Zilla, rather. Then mentions that cameramen seem to think they're immortal behind that camera. My understanding is if there's a problem with the rescue operation, there'll be another attempt in 24 hours, if it looks like there's any survivors. What do you mean, your understanding? You knew plenty about standard operating procedure before. Hey, hold on, Missy. Wasn't supposed to happen like this. I'm the only reserve man who made it here alive. And I'm doing my damnedest. And what if that rescue fails? Huh? Everything else has gone wrong so far. You don't want to know. Firebombing. It's the only way to get rid of them. For good. Firebombing? Yeah, pretty much. Actually, maybe I don't need another Zombrex for Katie. Chuck, be careful. If those things I don't remember. The military... I've only been at this for four fucking days. Well, three fucking days. Remember, it used to be my job to run them over with a motorcycle.
well, chainsaw motorcycle, but nonetheless, my point stands. Okay, let's do the spot in the club bullshit. And it is. Hello, Vicky. You may have my... Ken KPP. Okay, this is where things get a little twitchy. Because these guys are kind of a pain in the ass. Now, we're not going to immediately jump into this. Because there's a couple things I want to do. But uh, this video is not going to be too much longer. However, I'm pretty sure at this point it's all just story. Yeah, we're done with side quests. So, let's take a look at my notebook a little bit. They're dead. He's dead. Here's at least three psychopaths I'm missing. Dead. 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 Two more I'm guessing I'm missing. These guys are just flat out fucking gone. Leon's dead. She's alive. Dead. Well, I guess it really was a woman. Um, this guy, oh, he's the guy that got hung. Safe, safe. Let's just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 survivors that I didn't get. Or at least find. Maybe that's good? I don't know. Okay, speed's almost maxed. I'm doing really good, actually. As far as this shit goes. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Wasn't this stuff bringing out reds earlier? Alright, I'm gonna finally show off something I've been meaning to show off for a couple of videos now. Like, I was gonna do it this video, but I was in such a hurry I didn't want to take the detour. Now, allegedly, Queen should spawn more often now. But the zombies are more aggressive and they will actively pursue me now, which really sucks. For me. Not so much for them. They're kind of getting better at what they do now. So far, I'm not seeing it. However, <clears throat> as I understand it, um, well, as I've seen in the playthroughs I've watched, they are very difficult to shake now. Like, you got to wiggle the shit out of the stick and then you got to do... Like some button mashing and then more stick wiggling and not not fun. So don't get grabbed at all because they will take you down to the ground. This is what I need. Yeah. Again, I adore that woman for helping me find this shortcut. It has saved my life so many times. I wonder if that counts as a key item, or if that's just another kind of unlockable thing. I don't think it does, but I'm going to look. All but five of the skills. I'm getting pretty close. I Actually, let me check something real quick. I want to point out, past this point of the game, because they've already fought the next psychopath, 
Pico, in his playthrough, was a level 29, so I'm actually farther ahead than he is level-wise. But then again, I've also saved everybody that I've seen missions for. So, I haven't missed anybody that I'm aware of. Whereas he and John skipped several missions that I've actually finished. So, and I want to go on record for saying I did not think I would be as thorough in this game as I was, because I didn't think I fucking had this at all. I'm very proud of myself for pulling this off, you know? This should be the right one. Well, shit, I've been carrying around this assault rifle for nothing, then. Uh, now I just feel stupid. Okay, that, that, Jesus, that blood bomb into there is not fun, Mr. Cough. Kind of like when you get, uh, puke, you know? That's what I was looking for. Attack damage up, super slicer, oh, that, I can finally do that, yay. Grab. Anyway, I'm gonna need some more weapons because these little fuckers are aggressive now. Like, really aggressive. Could have sworn that was the right weapon to, to put on the bear, but I guess I wasn't. Sweet. Kinda sucks, cause I thought I had it. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Good. Now, I'm gonna... Probably save and then look for a hacker and just... Try and get some money. some of those. There we go. I'm just killing zombies to kill zombies at this point. And hopefully be able to find another queen just like that. Give Kyrex that queen. Oh. Shit, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Come here. Hello, baby. Get off my dick. Queen. Also, what's this one? Oh, those are my, uh, my what's it? My tenderizers. Yeah, baby. Get those off. Find a place. Thank you. Oh.
that was obviously a raid zombie. Muscle bound motherfucker. Take. Alright, we are gonna save up for a little bit. Because reasons. And, uh, yeah, that was a hell of a thing. I think some leveling good. That's good, right? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see about getting some of these extra combo cards. <laughs> writing down where they are and whatnot. We'll see, uh... We'll see what I can do. Because I've got pretty much the whole map open to me. And I'm going to need to know where that other Zombrex is. Because that's going to matter later. Anyway. You know what? Let's change out of this goddamn tuxedo. Not really working for me. Nice. Is that what that is? Don't have any downloadable content. These are all reward stuff. Nice. Go back into that. Anyway, Tuxedo was getting on my nerves. And uh, I'm Kyrix. This has been Let's Play Dead Rising 2, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.